Hi, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to my channel. So, we continue 5.1. So, in this video, I will discuss formative practice 5.1. Number 1A, what are thermionic emission and cathode rays? So, this one definitions. So, just write down. Thermionic emission is emission of electrons from a heated metal surface. Cathode rays are high-speed electron beams in a vacuum tube. State characteristic of cathode rays. Cathode rays are negatively charged, possess momentum and kinetic energy, move in a straight line and can be deflected by electric field and magnetic fields. Number 2A, state the function of the components of cathode ray tube below. First one, heating filament is used to heat up cathode to produce thermionic emission. Anode is to accelerate electron beams until it reaches high velocity. Cathode emits electrons that is through the process thermionic emissions. Fluorescent screen to produce light spots when high velocity electron beams hit fluorescent screen. D. Why must the cathode ray tube be in a state of vacuum? So that electrons do not collide with air molecule that causes energy loss. Number three, when an electron beam moves from cathode to anode in vacuum tube, state the type of motion of electron beam, uniform acceleration. The transformation of energy, electrical potential energy converted to kinetic energy of an electron. So this is based on principle of conservation of energy. C. The relationship between voltage of EHT power supply and velocity of electrons. Electrical potential energy is converted into kinetic energy of electron. So from here, we can produce formula through this relationship, which is electrical potential energy equals to kinetic energy of an electron. The formula is V equals to square root of 2EV divided by M. So for part C here, you can write down half mv squared equals to ev then you can rearrange the formulas make it v as the title thus you get v equals to square root of 2 ev divided by m so this formula showing relationship between velocity of electron and voltage of eht power supply so for number 4, when EHT with power of 800 volt is connected across cathode and anode, what is velocity of electrons given M, mass of electron, and charge of one electron? Using the formula V equals to square root of 2EV divided by M, you just substitute the value of charge of one electron, voltage of EHT, divided by mass of an electron so you just simplify so you get v equals to 1.68 times 10 to the power 7 meter second to the power negative 1 so this is the value of velocity for an electrons that represent the cathode rays what is the effect of velocity of the electrons in the voltage if the voltage is increased by four times what is the effect on velocity of electrons if the voltage is increased by four times the electron velocity will be double if potential difference is increased by four times based on this formula you can see if V is double or increase huh? Based on this formula, if voltage V 
increase by four times. You can see the symbol of square root here showing that the velocity will be double. That's all my video. Thanks for watching. Bye.